pain. All this digging, it's killing me. This is what Sloth's been I doing. Guess dying would be a pain too. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to episode 34 of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Ice Queen. Nice. I'm super excited to get new characters. I always just think it's super interesting to see how a new person affects the dynamics that have already been happening. And I feel like you learn so much more about characters, seeing how differently they react to new people. It's also interesting that this happens to be the same area as where the no for Scar's older brother are. So, yeah, that's and, an interesting coincidence. Yeah, so I feel like we're going to get everybody eventually being in the same area. If you are excited for this episode, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and check out the Patreon link in the description below to see these episodes right now in their extended uncut forms. We also have all of Arcane and these episodes of Demon Slayer available, so check out the link if you are interested in any of those shows. All right, are we excited for episode 34 of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Listen up, Dunderheads. This video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. All right, episode 34, The Ice Queen. Yes, that's right. You got lucky. You were close to getting frostbite. Ooh. You need to be careful walking around in a snowstorm. The flesh that's touching your auto mail will freeze, and you need to oil it, or it will stiffen. So does that buccaneer guy have a different kind of auto mail or something? It's no use, Doc. I can't get this thing unstuck. Hey! My head! <laughs> Up here, your auto mail has to be flexible and lightweight. It also needs to be resistant to the cold. After some trial and error, we found an alloy that works. A combination okay, of duralumin, nice. carbon fiber, nickel, copper, and so on. And here I assumed it was just iron. It's no wonder I couldn't do anything with it. Hmm. You have to understand the composition in order yeah. to telling him all our do secrets. alchemy on it. Why wouldn't I? He's a state alchemist. So then it's probably right unrelated. Know, doesn't he? You're kidding. He has the pocket watch. You mean this kid is the equivalent of a major? <laughs> if you're going to be in the north for long, That's fun. you should switch to a different kind of auto mail. Do you have a mechanic? Yeah, but she's in Rush Valley. And she let you come up north without explaining all of this to you first? Not exactly. I didn't tell her I was planning on coming Oh my god, here. she's gonna kill them. <gasps> yeah. I recommend you send for her, assuming that you'd like to stay yes. alive. Bring Winry back. That'll be a hundred cents. Seriously? It wasn't even that good a cup of coffee. This is the North. Get used to it. So, you come up here with mediocre auto mail, completely ignorant about the North, and you try to bypass the command center. Oh, come on! I hike up here, a state alchemist with an official letter of introduction, and this is how I'm treated? What's wrong with you people? Do you have no sense of propriety? That general threatened to tear my arms off! Hello, little red runt. Oh! If you have a problem, then now's the time to speak up. <laughs> My hair! <sighs> Wait, was that hair? I was always curious. I think it's like a horse hair, right? Oh. Need some awful. Olaplex. That's sad. Episode 34, Ice Queen. Well now, from what I hear, you two are close to my brother, Alex. Is he doing all right? Uh, oh. yeah. The big strong guy we know and love. Alex, Alex is, is doing, doing just great. Great. <laughs> Not what she wants. This is what no we matter. thought. Never mind yeah. him. <laughs> Tell me why you would bypass the command center to meet me. I want to know it all, including why your armor's empty. Actually, that's something we don't like to talk about. There's no reason to worry. Folks around here have plenty they want to hide. Everybody up north has something that he or she doesn't like to talk about. But if so you should just dump all of your life secrets. Yeah. For Even that I reason. have secrets like that. Brother, listen. I really think we have to tell her. But Winry's a hostage. That's true. Know. Maybe 
Maybe if we can do it without mentioning the Fuhrer or the homunculi. What are you whispering <laughs> about? Start talking now! Fine. This is Let's their just first impression, we're too. To get our bodies mm -hmm. back. I see. So that's why you're looking for this girl with a strange cat. I understand. <laughs> so does that mean you're I'm not gonna done. Help? What I understand is this. You two are a couple of reckless wretches who cause trouble with every last thing you do. Oh. I don't want people like you in my fort. Honestly, how could the people at Central let these two run around loose? Get out of here right now. Oh. At least that's what I'd like to say, but I'm interested oh. in Alka history. Oh, come you on. Two. You're acquainted with this girl from Shing. You've met her before. Psych! Yeah, we have. She has a skill our country doesn't, right? You can never ah. know too much. Especially here in the north, where we're right next to Drachma. If we use it right, Alkahestry could make an excellent weapon. Wait a second! Alkahestry is specialized for medical purposes. You can't just- Be quiet! You're nothing but lapdogs living safely within your city walls. But we are the ones who- <laughs> <laughs> Oh, how the tables have turned! This is a problem. You can't just- Be quiet! You're nothing but <laughs> lapdogs living safely within your city walls. But we are the ones who protect you. We few who are brave enough to defend the country's border. My job is far more perilous than yours. I will make use of any knowledge that I can get my hands on. Leave the task of finding this Alkahestry girl to me. You two will stay here inside the fort. And well, Major Miles. I don't yes, know if I love her yet. I like her a lot. Mm -hmm. She's cool, but... A man who yeah, did... she's really Wait, cool. What did you say? Who will stay here inside the fort. Yeah, she's... Really and cool. Major yep. Miles. Yes, sir. Put them to work. <laughs> a man who does not work has no right to eat. You have a point. <laughs> Those two boys haven't exactly had easy lives, General. I believe they may have witnessed some carnage in their time, but I can tell that on the inside they remain soft and weak. And what's more, they're still hiding something. Those two have a secret they aren't telling us. She's smart. Mm -hmm. So, uh, exactly what kind of work will you have us doing? That doctor nice. said people around here have a lot of things to hide, too. So what are you hiding, Major? <laughs> Great. Great conversation starter. It's no fair for you guys to ask all the questions and never answer any. You really want to know? Oh, oh shit, falling. okay. I don't understand. We were told all the soldiers from Ishval were Wait, purged he's a extermination. state alchemist? It's true that Ishvalan blood flows in my veins. But my father undercover. and my grandmother were not from that region. Uh, they were okay. a different race. My eyes are Ishvalan, though. My grandfather's blood runs strong. A Mestrian. It was your people who destroyed the land of my grandfather. <laughs> Ishval and your people destroyed our countryside. And one of you is responsible for murdering my friend's parents. Careful, brother! Why are we trying to make enemies so quickly? <laughs> yeah. We literally just got here. I'm sorry. But that's the first time I've heard anyone give me that kind of an answer. What, you were testing me? I know, <laughs> it was rude. Since the war, the Mestrians always view me with a mixture of guilt and pity. To be honest, I'm getting tired of it. But you're different, aren't you? Well, Major. Because he wasn't around during the war. Kidnap, he nearly mm -hmm. killed me and then briefly fought alongside me. After all that, my feelings are a bit conflicted. Besides, I think people should try to ignore their race and just treat each other as equals. Hmm. 
The thing about Ed that, uh, like, it's kind of been dawning on me is that he wasn't actually kind of cognizant for the war itself. So, like, when he hears about Mustang doing all these things, or really anybody, like, he can't really quite grasp it, you know? 100%. There's no, like, visual reference or memory of it. The only thing that he's experienced, it's a bit like Attack on Titan, where the only thing he's experienced mm -hmm. is the retaliation from the other group. That's so. a super great comparison. Yeah. yeah. It's almost like people thought it was a good fall. Follow up. <laughs> huh. Major Miles, were you on active duty during the War of Extermination? Yes, I was. I've been under General Armstrong's command since then. The war began right after I was posted here. Many of my relatives, including my grandfather, were killed in the East. I fell outside the military's purge requirements, so I was spared. You didn't hold any grudge against the military? You don't understand how the world works now, do you? I know I'm ignorant about some things. If I offended you, I'm sorry. An ignorant state alchemist, you say? Huh, interesting. <laughs> it's like, that's everybody. I mean, at least he I owns it. The yeah. Military's actions. Knowing that you have also had learn doubts as to why General that's Armstrong the thing. would keep me as her staff officer. The presence of someone with Ishvalan blood could cause discord among the soldiers stationed here. It would have been easier for her to get rid of me. Eventually, I just came right out and asked her. This is Briggs. No matter what happens, this territory I'm must not I'm obsessed with her hair. Every soldier here must be both strong and flexible. You must move as one cohesive unit. Just following like me, the Ottoman. Leader, in mm -hmm. all things and at all times. In Her short, is really nice. We do not have the luxury of discrimination here. The blood of several she has so races much flows hair within doesn't. you, <laughs> and when that comes varying strengths and values, That's you can funny. see this country in a way that others cannot. Oh. I was born and raised in a mistress. In order to lead, I need someone with your eyes. Now shut up and follow me, Miles. Understood? Her words made sense. I knew she was speaking without deception. I even went so far as to ask her, what if the Ishvalan blood within me cannot forgive what the military did to my people? And you want to know what the general said to that? Fine then, bring it. On behalf of the military, I will accept your challenge anytime. That was it. What a scary lady. Wow. Okay. Maybe she said that because she had her troops with her. No, that wasn't it at all. I'll fight you one on one! <laughs> the look in her eye. <laughs> Yikes. Terrifying. She uses a sword, you know I guess, and it had alchemy here. on it. Survival That's of so the interesting. That's right. Without power, you die. And if you have it, you might survive. That fact always remains the same 365 days a year. It's a simple life, really. Whether you're a private or a general, race, ethnicity, and gender make no difference. <laughs> <laughs> Survival of the fittest in action. Your luck Whoa. was strong, so you survived. <laughs> All need to be scraped off. That'll be your job for today. When you're finished, one of my men will show you to your quarters. <laughs> Damn, I can't reach. Oh, That's an unfortunate no. job for him. Huh? <laughs> Officer oh, Bowman. the Elric oh, no brothers. The bishop. What are you two okay. doing here? Us, what about you? I thought you were at the Northern Command Center. <laughs> yeah, I was for a while, but then Northern Command bumped me up here. They promoted you! Yeah. Hey, that's great, congratulations! But why are you knocking down icicles? If they have you doing something like this, then that means... <laughs> They've taken you off the career track? No! Aww. Sad. The development sector. Yeah, that's really sad. Wow. That What's was it for? pretty dramatic. Mm -hmm. It was oh. General Armstrong's idea. Thanks. This department researches the country's latest technologies and develops them into weapons. Does that include combat auto mail? Yeah. Now come on, follow me. Ooh. Are they gonna get him in the auto mail? What is this? What? This is yeah. the lowest level of Fort Briggs. Warm down here. Not super Not like helpful. it was up above. All the fort's most important functions, its lifelines, come through here. Even if the fort's attacked, this area will remain safe. Hmm. 
<laughs> okay, way too early prediction. Let's hear it. The way they phrased that, the way they did this, and the way that the country is built. There's for sure gonna be an attack. The shit, the, no, the, yes, but no, I'm saying the thing that has been shown every time they show fathers, all these pipes coming from all these different oh. places. And it makes me think that when the country wide thing is done, there has to be a pathway for all of the stuff to get to central mm -hmm. because i think father's gonna try to absorb it all or something okay so i think that these might be the pipes because of course they're double fortified and protected that they're the most important part of the plan and now watch how weirdly spooky it was when it showed it i have no evidence for that it's just a feeling like that is spooky for That's no the reason. music of plot. This is the lowest level of Fort Briggs. Oh, lowest level. It's warm huh. Just like where Not father like is. It wasn't above. Oh, it's warm. All <laughs> the fort's most important functions, its lifelines, come through here. Even if the fort's attacked, this area will remain safe. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Hey kid, move out of the way. Not a great place to stand. Oh, sorry. Hey Bobby, it's this pipe. Over here. Could also just be totally wrong. I mean, that's always possible. It's coming. From underground. What? Sounds like... Like someone's digging through the rock. Maybe it's spies from Drachma. They could be digging a tunnel what? under the fort. What? It's close! So what it's the fluff. fuck is it's happening? Fluff. No way. It's so annoying. All this digging. It's killing me. This is what Sloth's been I doing. Guess dying would be a pain too. Oh boy. This is what Sloth has been doing this whole time, oh, tunneling shit. all the way. Full metal alchemist. Jesus. Okay, and that area is so critical. Yeah, yeah, wait. Oh so God. when we saw him episode 14, he was pulling rocks. Has he been just making this path this whole time? That's not very sloth. Like, well, no, it I is. guess if he goes very slowly. It's slow and steady. That's got to be the power. That's kind of what sloths do. Interesting. Not with rocks, but with air. And the interesting thing about this character is it's definitely going to be a powerhouse character, mm -hmm. but slow. I'm fascinated by it. I mean, it's always just so interesting seeing how people choose to personify things because it like varies so much based on your own personal experience, even like on a subconscious level. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how they portray sloth. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Oh, wow. Scary. What are the cuffs for? Kimbling, Keep the it from alchemist? like... He was severely wounded oh. on a cargo train headed here. He was checked into a hospital at the base of the mountain. The full cooperation of the Briggs branch is requested. Why was Kimberly headed up north? I thought he was serving time in prison. Apparently he was released on the Fuhrer's orders. I don't like this. <gasps> what is it? I don't like it either. We got an intruder from <laughs> under the ground, sir. We what? Sloth is here. Oh no, oh. Well, it doesn't seem like they prepared for this at all. Yeah. The homunculus. So, like, what else could it be? Do they know we've come here to find a way of fighting them? This isn't good. This seems to be a coincidence. Yeah. Oh, he's tired. What's this? Uh, I'm guessing that creepy guy back in Central who you call Father told you about us. But you see, we're just trying to find a way to get our bodies back, that's all. Why should I care about you? Yeah, he doesn't... <laughs> not a part of his... Go dig a hole. How annoying. Really, what a pain. You mean <laughs> he doesn't know? No, I don't think he's heard about us from Father or Fuhrer Bradley. <laughs> oh, shit, what? Aha! So it turns out that you really are a Druckman spy! No, we're not! I saw you talking to the intruder like you knew who he was! No, we weren't! Cloth just casually me. there. No we're not lying! We never even met that guy! <laughs> oh my- Oh my god! <laughs> he just said, in the way. Honestly, and like maybe this is like 
the depression speaking. He doesn't seem that lazy. What do you mean? Like he's picking stuff up and throwing it really far and walking around and like digging holes. I mean, he fell asleep mid-conversation. Right, but like... And... It's th Sloth isn't just sleeping all the time. I feel like he's being pretty slow, though. Did that... You could throw something like that slowly? No, that's the thing about it. I think the speed is slow, but when there's an obstacle or something in the path, it will be removed. Like, it's almost the definition of slow and steady and the, the steady aspect. Should be laziness, not just slow and consistent. That's not lazy. Fool me! Stop lying! We never even met that guy! <gasps> like, it's not like he's even attacking. I think he's just objective-based. You don't think that was aimed at them? Nope. He doesn't know where it's going on. Can I stop digging now that I'm here? Fire! But what they said is they had to keep him moving and, bu God, moving and busy or else he'll stop. Mm. What is that red line? Like? Uh, what do you mean? It there's a red this line that goes all the way that from his palm to his, like, temple. Go, oh, I think that's just homunculus lines. They're, they're on all of them. I don't know what Not like that, either. though. And Sloth's just accidentally going up an elevator. Like, they're all just panicking. He's like, what is even happening? <laughs> that's not gonna work. Yeah, at that point, you just get out of the way. Yeah. It's warm here. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh, wow. Put it out. Sir! So happy too. How is that even possible? No use. Firearms won't work against him. What? Withdraw all non-combatants immediately. Shut off the alarm. The fact she didn't know he was a monculus and fired a rocket launcher at him. Yeah. It was just like this will take care of this intruder. <laughs> this will be fine. <laughs> and then it doesn't work. It won't help anything if the Dropmans figure out that we're in trouble. General, we have tanks. Have the nice. trials been complete? Perfect. We don't need to worry about trials. These are the development team's pride and joy. Remove the fuses from the shells. Yes, sir. <laughs> Those tanks look pretty cool. I don't know how they're going to do against him if Ready the flamethrower didn't the work or rocket launch or whatever that was. I mean, this will be a bigger shell. Yeah. yeah. Right, but like... If the other thing did nothing, oh. he's gonna be fine in two seconds. That's vile. Pain is a pain. Pain is annoying. Ugh. Don't just sit there. Load you know what? Vibes. He's right. Fire! I have a feeling things that annoy him is not gonna take too kindly to him. So he's been commanded just to dig. Hmm. That lines up with the like under central thing in the pipe idea. Yeah. Oh, do you think he dug all these tunnels? No, just that it's did. part of the plan. Or maybe he did. I mean, if he's been digging for 200 years. It won't work. Try whatever you want to, but he won't die. He won't. Just what are you saying? How does a kid like you know something like that, huh? Man, they're so in the dark. Be because we... Drop Wait, me do people not you communicate in this universe? You will all my questions clearly and completely. First off, how do you know about that thing? Are you a Drachman spy? I'm not! Is that thing a spy? I really doubt it! 
Does that thing know you? Uh, no, apparently not. What is that thing? I can't answer. Who does that thing work for? I can't answer that! Why can't you answer me? I can't answer. This is my last question. Are you on our side, or are you in league with that thing? I'm not with him. I don't want to see anyone here get hurt. So you're on their side. Then tell me what that thing's made of. His body structure and compositional elements are probably the same as a human's. The same as a human's, huh? Buccaneer, bring me some tank fuel now. We're going to douse it. Sir, I oh. told you it won't work, General! Set him on fire, but he still won't die! I understand. I learned from our last attack that we can't kill it. The best that we can hope for is to stop or delay it. So we'll have to hit it with something even stronger than fire. Oh. What's stronger than fire? Yeah. Now you get to see the Briggsway kid. Oh, I'm excited. Is that going to be our lead in the next episode? All right, yes, there we is. go. The tunnel probably didn't originate in Drachma. It's dug in the shape of an enormous circle. How is that possible? It, it yep. looks like the transmutation circle from the fifth laboratory. And that was episode 34 of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. What are your first thoughts? Okay, so we've officially met all of the seven deadly sin homunculi, yeah. right? That was the last one we were waiting on. I feel like this is a portrayal of sloth that I've never seen. I think it's about as accurate as you can get. Like, I, I, I feel like my inclination for sloth would be that sloth would just sit there and not do anything. Mm -hmm. So it makes me think that father somehow implanted a thing to be like, all you can do is dig holes. He was almost given a grand plan and just given like 300 years to do it. And I feel like that's pretty sloth-like, you know? I guess. I'm just wondering how father's weaponized that. Because I don't buy that it's just like a, oh, go dig a hole for the sake of digging a hole. But please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And check out the Patreon link in the description below to see these episodes right now in their extended uncut forms. We also have all of Arcane and these episodes of Demon Slayer available. So check out the link if you are interested in any of those shows. All right, we have a lot to discuss. But before we do that, where are we headed? All right, let's go to the episode verdict. Thank you for watching. For now, we're going to go to questions given to us by our amazing Patreon members. If you want to ask us questions after every episode, join the link in the description below and start asking. For now, let's go to question one. All right, question one. Yeah, Keen asks, what do you think of the irony behind Sloth's abilities? You were talking a little bit about this. When you think of Sloth, you don't think of consistent, slow work. Like, that's like... The reverse. Exactly. If father had him, maybe he just sat there and then father eventually was like, well, I have to get him to do something and then figured out a way. You know? I guess, but that's not a lazy thing to do. I'm thinking of it in a different way. I'm thinking of it almost as if father said, sloth, you're not moving. I'm going to get you an eternal treadmill and uh -huh. you have to move. Like it's almost like he's being dragged forward by a programming. He's just like purposely torturing one of his creations. Picture this, sloth won't move. Uh -huh. Useless, correct? Yeah. He needs sloth to move to be useful, correct? Yeah. In order to do that, he implants something like continuously dig a tunnel to continue to keep sloth moving, which is why he's doing it. It's just, it's interesting. Listening to every single word sloth said, it was all just like, can I stop now? Please dig a hole, dig a hole. Ah, this is so annoying. Like he doesn't, mm -hmm. he was protesting the whole time, but just continuously moved. And I think right. it's because he's just being pulled forward somehow. I guess. All right. Bad joke artist asks, now that you've been properly introduced to him, what are your opinions of Sloth? Do you have predictions for any power he might have, Greed, Shield, Wrath's Eye, etc.? So that's the thing is I think it might be similar to Juggernaut's power where it's the power of continuous inertia based motion where like the only thing that maybe his Philosopher's Stones is going to do is heal him when he's been damaged in his path to do something. Mm -hmm. But I have a feeling that like Sloth was not moving and Father was like, okay, I'm just going to give you one single simple thing to do and it's going to be to dig this one tunnel and it's going to take forever because it's a country sized tunnel but he's probably just been doing this forever mm -hmm. and i feel like that it, it, it's the same reason why like it's almost like if there was a boulder the size of a mountain that was just sitting there it would not be useful but if it started rolling that thing would be a danger interesting and i think okay. that he's a continuous rolling boulder and there's something at the end of the tunnel that mm. he's getting to okay um i don't know where the tunnel is leading but i i don't know i mean the thing that's got me thinking about it is this like eternal army thing like the immortal army mm -hmm. like maybe he was making like a 
tunnel for them to get to other countries so that they can invade or something. But like you have a train. Like I don't. Yeah. I guess I don't quite get that. And also, why is it warmer? But oh, maybe that's just a comment because it's nice comparatively to everywhere else because it's so cold. Mm. But anyway, um, that uh, powers wise, I think it's going to be continuous movement forward and vulnerability maybe slowing other people down somehow like making them sloth like interesting what do you think if you had to make up a sloth ability if i had to make up a sloth ability i would say infiltrating and fucking up other people's plans mm. like i don't know you go shut down their wi-fi this or guy really seems like a tech break wizard. a computer that's not what i mean i mean a metaphorical wi-fi Maybe like the alchemy Wi-Fi. Exactly. Fucking with the alchemy Wi-Fi. Here's a theory. It's like the counterpoint to being super lazy, which is that you have to absolutely optimize every single aspect of your life. Like if mm. you're going to spend the energy, it True. better be fucking worth it. So strategy wise, I've come up with so many random yeah, like laziness is double the uses of, of energies yeah. exactly so maybe it's like a super efficient power that could be it and then the last thing i'm thinking is potentially father installed like a forever gps that like he sees the path he needs to walk on and Interesting. that's why he's just walking without knowing where he is at all he's just following this like because how like does that he know, snail why is he story? going how do you not know where you are but end up somewhere intentional and that's what I think he might have some string pulling him somewhere. Mm -hmm. That's about it for this episode. Are we excited for episode 35 of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? Can't wait. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Let's go.